What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we have a massive WTA 1000 event in Dubai this week and it's got some big names playing. This feels like a mini Grand Slam but unfortunately we've got a lot of names out so let's go to the withdrawals. So starting at the top of the withdrawals we have Andrescu, she's pulled out with injury. Barty also out injured. Brady's out. Collins, defending champion Simona Halep, she is also out. Kennan's not playing. Lynette, Makova, Putin Seva, Risk, Strikova, Vekic is not playing, she's injured and Zhang is also not playing this event so a lot of names not playing this one all right let's go to the top of the draw there are 16 seeds in this event the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round and the number one seed Svetolina she gets a buy in the first round she'll be the winner of Wang versus Kuznetsova in the second round so not an easy start there for Svetolina then we have Teague versus Ostapenko winner of that's going to play the Krajikova or the number 16 seed Sakari in the second round then we've got the number 11 seed Keys she gets a qualifier in the first round the winner of that match is going to play either Sigmund or Potapova in the second round then we have Pavlichenkova versus versus Kudamatova in the first round. Battle of the Russians. Winner of that's going to play against number six seed, Benchich in the second round. So a lot of informed players at the moment in this part of the draw. This is not an easy draw, especially for someone like Svetolina, who is representing as the top seed in this event, even though she's the number five ranked in the world. She's the top seed. A lot of pressure on her. But she's going to have to play players like Sakari, Kuznetsova might be her second round opponent, and Benchich. She's doing okay at the moment as well. All right, second part of the draw, we have number four seed, Kvitova, who just just won in Doha last week. So she's in some form. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Badosa versus Teichman in the second round. Then we have Jabor versus Siniakova. Winner of that's going to play either Zhang or the number 14 seed Rybakina in the second round. Then we have the number 12 seed Vondrasova gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either wildcard Goff or Alexandrova in the second round. So Goff, she gets a wildcard into this event. And we all know that Coco is very dangerous as an unseeded player. Then we have a qualifier versus Pliskova in the first round. And this is the sister of Pliskova, of course. Winner of that match is going to play against number five seed Burton's in the second round. So Kiki Burton's coming back from injury. Still trying to find her feet, though, because she didn't play well last week. So she's still on the comeback trail and hoping to get a couple of wins this week. But the standout name for me in this one is clearly Kavitova. She's in form and she's played well in these conditions. Only a week ago, last week, she played amazing. So she's in form. She's the one to watch. All right, the third quarter of the draw, we have the number eight seed Spiontek. Getting a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of a qualifier versus Hercog in the second round. Then we have Anissa Mova versus a qualifier. Winner of that match is going to play either another qualifier or the number nine seed Muguruza, who I think has been one of the best players of 2021. She made a couple of finals. And she also had a match point against Australian Open champion Osaka as well. So Muguruza, very unlucky not to have won a title so far this year. She is a name to watch out in this event. She's full of confidence, especially making the Doha final last week. And she could be playing Sviantec in the third round, which is a crazy match. Then we have Kontovic, the number 15 seed, versus Babosh in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Kastea or a qualifier in the first round. Then we have Corne versus Kazakina. Winner of that's going to play against number three seed, Sabalenka. We had a very poor week last week. She lost in her first match last week. She'll be looking to redeem herself in this one. And she has a decent draw in the first couple of rounds. But then she's probably going to have to play either Muguruza or Sviontek after the third round. So it's going to be tough for her. But Zabalenka, she likes a challenge. And she'll be looking to get her form back after a poor week last week. All right, the bottom corner of the draw, we have Azarenka, the number seven seed, who pulled out injured last week in Doha with a back problem. So we'll keep an eye on her. Her second round opponent will be the winner of Kerber or Garcia. So that's a tough second round there for Azarenka, especially if she's not 100%. Then we have Roger versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play the Ferro or the number 10 seed Mertens, who's always a sneaky player, especially when she's a low seed. In an event like this, watch out for Mertens. She could sneak through the draw, especially if Azarenka is not 100%. Then we have the number 13 seed Martic versus Mladenovic in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Svetova or Pagula in the second round. And Pagula has been in great form lately, so keep an eye on her. Sevastova versus Pera will play in the first round. Winner of that's going to play against number 2 seed Pliskova, who... To be honest, has been very bad in 2021. She has not lived up to her top 10 ranking at all yet. Maybe this tournament is the tournament that she needs to really get herself into that winner's column and maybe she gets a championship from this one. Who knows? Maybe she makes a final. I think that'd be a good result. And she has a good draw. She has no real worries except for maybe Mertens and Azarenka. But again, Azarenka, big question mark after last week getting the back injury. So there you have it. Some big names in this one. Of course, some big names are not playing, but it's still a stacked event. A lot of top 10 players, a lot of informed players as well. Very hard to pick who's going to win this one. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you picking to win this event? So looking through all the seeds here, we've got some players that have played really well. We've got some players 
that have had bad weeks over the last couple of weeks. But I'm going to go with Sabalenka because I think Sabalenka, after last week having such a poor performance, is going to come out with a bit of fire underneath her and will be looking to get some revenge over a poor week last week. So I'm going to go with Sabalenka, who loves to play in these hot conditions. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one. So the Dubai Championships, the first WTA 1000 event of the year, and it's going to be a good one.